Okay, we are back. This is the little Sakata tortoise. He is so cute. I don't have a name for him, so everyone go drop a name down below in the comments. The most liked comment will be his name. Now, if you haven't seen the last video, I recently did my whole leopard gecko's tank. Now, it's time for him to get his own outdoor enclosure. We're gonna head to Home Depot and do that right now. We are now at Pet Supermarket. Stop at Pet Supermarket before Home Depot, just because I gotta get some supplies for him. Reptiles, 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 reptiles. Boom, there it is. There it is. Right here, honey. We got it. This is exactly what I came for. It's like a bar. This is exactly what they need. It's kind of like mulch almost. Also gonna grab one of these water dishes. I don't like getting the deep dish ones just in case he falls in and drowns. So this way he can just walk in and walk right out. This brings back some bad memories. Oh gosh. Nick, actually doing dad things. Tom, come here. Look at him. I'm gonna go cry now. All right, we got the goodies. Let's go. Home Depot right now. I'm trying to find the little black things that like Blake puts his tortoises in and everything, but I can't seem to find them right now. So when I do find them, I'll pick the phone back. I finally found it. I've literally been walking around for 30 minutes. Holy crap! All right, thanks to Paul because I called Paul and he said that they were above where we get the sand for the fish tanks, and that's where it was. So thank you, Paul. We got it. This is all we needed. So now we're gonna go home and set it up. We got the black bin, I guess that's what I'm gonna call it. We got the bark, we got the water dish, and we're good to go. I got the black bin, and this is where he's gonna be staying. A lot of you guys suggested that he should be outside. So look, I listened to you guys, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing Blake does with his tortoises. Blake knows a lot about these things and he knows what he's doing. So I definitely want to take his method on how to keep these tortoises in good condition. And we're going to lay it all down in the black bin. So let's go do that. I'm sorry, I don't have a film bar right now. So I am doing this all by myself and it's kind of hard. But basically, I'm just going to take this mulch right here and I'm just going to spread it all out through here. Just like that. And this is outdoors. This is on my mom's balcony upstairs. So no birds can come in and get him or anything. It's all locked in by this fencing. So I'm just gonna spread this all out. And no raccoons or anything like that can eat him as well, unless it, it can fly. I'm also very sick right now. So that's why if you hear me like sniffing a lot, that's why. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spread the mulch all evenly around the whole bin. And then I'm gonna get the log right here. This is his little hide, it's perfect size for him. I'm gonna put it on the shaded side. So this side gets the most sun. So when he wants to get some sun, he comes out here. When he wants to get some shade, he goes on this side. And he can also go in his little hide right here. Like I said before, a lot of tortoises die in enclosures like this because Sometimes the owner or whatever has a deep water dish and the tortoise goes in and gets stuck and then he end, ends up drowning. This one, it, as you can see, it's kind of like on a, an edge like that, like a slope. So say he goes in, he can just walk right back out. So this is a perfect little water dish for him. Like that, so he can get, access it easy. Perfect, this is awesome, I love this right now. This is also very good substrate, it's just like mulch. It's good because when he gets cold or whatever, or wants to moist, this stuff is very moist, so he can bury himself like a little hole and burrow right in there. It's a setup just like this. He has his log to hide in, he has his water dish, and maybe we'll decorate it with some fake plants. I don't like putting fake plants just because maybe he'll think it's real and try to eat them and then choke on them, so I just like to keep it simple into his new cage. Also guys, remember, he does not have a name right now, so drop a name down below. I'm going to be picking the comment with the most likes, so go drop a name below. And there he is. He is gonna love this. You got your water dish right here, buddy. You got your little hiding spot right here. And then, obviously it's a little later in the day, so the sun's not out as much. But in the morning, the sun is 
beaming right here in this area. And then in this area, it's all shady. So if he wants to cool down, he goes right here. If he wants to get some sun, he goes right there. How you doing, baby? So I'm going to go feed this guy right now. I don't have a food ditch just because he cannot access it as easy as if I just throw it on here. Because when I throw it on here, it eats it all up and it's fine. It makes it a little more messy, but I don't mind cleaning it up. Right here. Oh, it's the lettuce. There he is. <laughs> He's already in his little cave. He's going to come right out when he sees these greens, though. I just put the lettuce right there. He'll find it when he wants to go and eat, so that's perfect. So that is the tortoise's new cage. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment down below. Tell me your favorite part of the video. And also remember, comment a name below. Thank you guys for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one. See you.